Hello, everybody. My name is Jared Davis. I am a program management fellow underneath Marisa Reed. I am a member of the ops team. And academically, I am a Ross Master of Management candidate and will be graduating at the end of April. Today, I'll be talking about business evaluation for a better CAI. When I was given the opportunity to be a fellow for the CAI, I wanted to find something that would really give me the satisfaction of creating value for the program and creating value for the students across the campus. When I was shown that I would be utilizing a SWOT analysis in my work, I was very excited because I knew this was going to be a great way for me to leave an impact and a lasting impact that can forever help the CAI as well as all students. So the SWOT analysis is the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats evaluation for the program. And I knew this would be great because it's a common misconception for many people and many programs that there's only one or two beneficial things that you can pull from a SWOT analysis. However, as you can see in the importance column, every single one of these steps, every single subpart is just as important as the next in creating a better future, a stronger future, and a future that can create more value for the students, the leadership, the supervisors, all staff, all together. The next thing I'd like to touch on is project adoption and understanding the scope. So when I had joined the CAI, this was actually a project that had been underway and had been ongoing. So the first thing I had to do was acclimate. I had to read through interviews. I had to understand the process and tap into previous work um, that I have done in the past in order to take the data and the interviews and surveys that have been done and transform them into a document. And then I had to understand what was left. I had to figure out where the project was at and where it needed to go in order to be finalized. I have to thank Marissa Reed for this. She did a great job of helping me understand the project scope and understanding what needed to be done, what there was to be done. And basically she laid out the, the final work for me and the, they mapped out the timeline for me to get this job finished. In doing that, along with Marissa Reed, I also was able to gather some expert opinions. I had the opportunity to meet with many experts in the field that helped me, helped me map out my planning, helped me understand how this analysis and project can be the most beneficial for not just the people on our team, but everybody in the CAI. I have to thank Dave Malachy, Mitra Giyashian, Camille Ulrich, Amelia Berry, Trevor Parnell, Alex, Saya, and Anna Dora, all for their expert opinion, their help. And it's also worth noting that they didn't necessarily just help me with this project, but they also helped me get acclimated to understanding how my work is valuable and also helped me understand how to best maximize my experience here at the CAI. So I wanna thank them all individually. After that, it was time to dive in. It was time to start on the work that needed to be done, um, put the pen to paper or the finger to the keyboard and maximize my time and efficiency to get this project done in the best way possible. So in order to familiarize everyone with the steps in the completion process, I wanna go over the development process of how this project started and finished. So first we started with step one was determining the purpose and the goal of the SWOT. So understanding the need of why it is important and why it should be done. Then we had to determine the audience, you know, whether that be the people we interviewed, whether that be the people who are receiving the CAI um, SWOT analysis. And then we moved to step two, which was then acting and conducting these interviews with leadership team, supervisors, and student fellows, we knew it would be extremely important to get a full-fledged and universal understanding of the SWOT analysis. So we decided to interview people at all levels and get some information from all of them. We then recorded and took notes of all the interviews and compiled the information into documents, which is more of where I stepped in at that point and so I started my acclimation into the project. I reviewed the documents, created a few more documents, and also took bits and pieces of information from all of it and 
worked on implementing that into our final findings in creating the SWOT analysis, which is step four. And then after that, we did our final review of the documents. Um, we met with many experts in the field, had them review and edit and help us with formatting. And then the next thing was to share it out with the CAI. Next, I'd like to talk about the project breakdown of the SWOT analysis. On team one who kicked off the project was Marissa Reed and Emil Dantzler. Their first thing and first step that they took on was to create the objectives and the goals, create and conduct the interviews. And then once those were finalized, they began to compile the information. And that's when Marissa and I began to take over and compiled all the information as well, finalized that, and then started on creating the SWOT document. We consulted with experts, learned how to most efficiently display the information that we found, and then we finalized and delivered the results program-wide throughout the CAI. So now I'm gonna dive into the SWOT analysis findings a little bit. I'm going to touch on just the main points mostly, some points that were redundant across all um, modes, whether it be the students, the supervisors, the leadership. And if you'd like a little more in depth, um, refer to the handout that we sent um, earlier throughout um, Marissa Reed's email. But now I'm going to dive into the strengths first. We found that the CAI does a great job with networking and connecting everybody, whether that be students to leadership, supervisors to leadership. All modes does a great job of connecting and helping people gain experience and um, learn new things from their colleagues. It also offers real world experiences that can help students go into the workplace, um, whether it be a step and stepping stone for your next job or your next opportunity. We found that CII does a great job of sharpening skills and giving people great experiences. Next, I'm gonna to touch on our weaknesses. We found that there is a lack of cross collaboration and it's something that we can work on going forward. In addition, and specifically for students who are joining an ongoing project, we found that project scoping was a bit of a weakness and the general understanding of a project for the fellows or whether that be for the um, general work population of the CAI, it's something that we could really just sharp on a little bit. Next is the opportunities. We found that the general awareness of the CAI is lacking a little bit and we found that tabling and info boosts would be a great way to boost this um, general awareness throughout the entire campus for the CAI as well as the diversity efforts. This can help us um, gain a larger talent pool and a more well-rounded, diverse team for the CAI. Lastly, the threats. We found that private industry opportunities and specifically ones that offer return offers for many of these students gives us a threat as many students find that that shows a little bit more value for them considering it could lead to another full-time opportunity. And as well as the shift to hybrid and the opportunity to people from work for people to work from home can sometimes skew the communication. So we need to make sure we're utilizing our modes of communication, whether that be Slack, Asana, and find a great way to continue to communicate well and efficiently so that we can get all our jobs done in an efficient, timely manner. So now that we have sent out and finalized our project, we understand that that is only one step of a long scale project that we understand is important and necessary to gain the most out of the SWOT analysis. So we equated our SWOT analysis and the completion of it, the finalization and sending out of that as only 50% of the project that needs to be done. The next step is creating and implementing a next step strategy plan so that we can develop and use this findings, use this information from the SWOT analysis and develop a better CAI, a more efficient um, goal-oriented friendly project. And then the step three or project three is once we are practicing and utilizing the strategy to its full potential, we're gaining the most out of the influence that we found through the project and we are working towards a better, more efficient and positive CAI. So the last slide I have for everyone here are the key takeaways that I have taken and the key takeaways that the CAI can take from this project. So one of the things I discovered is that 
no matter what stage you are with your company, whether you're a startup, whether you are a whether you're an established, fully efficient company, there's always room for improvement. And that's that's important to do. And it's oftentimes seen in the earlier stages as necessary, but oftentimes people can get lulled to sleep once they feel as if they're efficient and working well. But it's like important to always understand that it's important to keep moving forward. And then I also discovered the importance of perspectives. I thought that Emil and Marissa did an outstanding job when picking out who they wanted to have interviewed for this project, because in order to create synergies within a pro like a company, we must do top down integration of all these ideas and compile them all to find a full fledged view and create the most benefit for everybody at the company. Next is the progression. We need full focus on the better future, not just from the, the leaders, not just from the fellows, but everyone in between. And I lastly would like to thank everybody that has helped me with this project. I would like to thank the CAI for the opportunity to be a fellow here. I have learned so much. I have enjoyed my time. And I really do think that this project has shaped me and created me into a better prospect for the future. And I'm so thankful and excited to see where this can go. Thank you.